guys welcome back to my channel so i felt like talking today so today i'm going to be making a video telling you guys how much acne sucks so if you agree with me stay tuned now anywho um pretty much i just kind of wanted to share my story with you guys about how um okay, acne started and how my acne has been the best thing that has happened to me for like five years <sighs> kidding so i pretty much just wanted to kind of like do like a background story with you guys so you guys can kind of know and understand why i am taking accutane and why i bring it up sometimes in my video um I will also be doing a video on my Accutane journey once I am completely done with it, which I am not. I'm only five months in and I still have about six months more to go. So, yes, fun. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So, pretty much, um, I've always kind of had um, acne. It had never been um a big issue for me until about my freshman year is when i started kind of first noticing you know a pimple here and there it wasn't too bad it was just a little bit so i was like eh, like whatever it's puberty right um turns out that was not the case that was the beginning of a very tragic story anywho um so yes, I started getting acne my freshman year. Um, it was pretty much, you know, the puberty acne. So a little bit of a pimple every here and there. It wasn't too bad. I was like, eh, whatever. Uh, my sophomore year, it kind of progressed a little bit. Not enough to where I was like going crazy over it. You know, it would be like one or two pimples and that's it. Like it would go away. So no biggie, whatever. You know, everyone gets pimples um my junior year um is when i started to realize that i was like okay like chill like that's too much um so i started getting more pimples um it got to the point where it was starting to make me feel uncomfortable so i started wearing makeup to you know hide it and feel better about myself because it was starting to you know nag at me and make me feel bad so i started wearing makeup um i started wearing foundation and i started wearing powder um pretty much you know just full face makeup to go ahead and hide it you know um my senior year you know it continued to get worse um it was you know to the point where it was uncomfortable and it made me feel bad about myself I could not go out without makeup. I had to literally wake up like at six in the morning um, to get my makeup done and look nice and all of that. Um, I couldn't go to school without makeup. Um, I wouldn't let anyone that like I wasn't friends with or really close with see me without makeup. Um, if I went out to anywhere, store, anywhere, anything, like just anywhere out the house. I had to, uh, you know, put on makeup because it was just to the point where, you know, like, I was not feeling good about myself. Um, so, you know, like, it was just that, like, I had to wear makeup. It became a routine, you know. I got so used to um, putting on the makeup every day that I just, I became used to it, you know. Like, I just put it on every day and I wouldn't go out without it. And that was just it. But I was like, whatever, you know, like, I can't get worse, like, than this. It's just... It was, you know, it's what made me feel better. And, you know, it did suck a lot because if I had to, you know, um, go anywhere quick or like, you know, just go do any little thing or anything like that, I had to put on makeup because it's just like I couldn't let anyone see me without it. It's just, um, you know, it wasn't horrible to where it was like hideous, but me, myself, you know, I just couldn't do it. Like, it made me feel really insecure and uncomfortable. And I just, you know, I would feel like people wouldn't be looking at me. They would be looking at my acne. So, you know, it was just not even, like, an option at all. Um, after I finished high school, a little bit after I had my daughter. So, I got pregnant. I had my daughter. 
Um, my whole pregnancy, you know, I had that glow, which is actually very true. My skin was like so good. I had no pimples, like every just now and then. Um, it was just great. And I was like, yay, like this is awesome. This is gonna be so good. Like it's a whole brand new me. It was just, I was feeling it. But sadly that did not last very long. Um, after I had my daughter, my skin literally was like, hi, here's like 5,000 new friends that you're going to have on your face. And it was the worst. Um, after I had my daughter, my skin was just like horrible. Like it was the worst that it has ever been. Um, I don't know if it's because, you know, like my hormones got like thrown off or everything was just all over the place whatever it was the devil who knows it was just horrible like it was pimple after pimple after pimple after pimple and it was like you know five six at a time like forehead you know all like five at a time you know sides of my face all like you know just everything at once like it was just like my skin was not even giving me like a break like at all um and then it was you know it was really painful also because it wasn't just pimples where you know it's like over your skin and you can just like and get rid of it no like my pimples would be coming out like underneath my skin and they would be there for like months like when i say months i mean months like two three months or whatever um, and it was painful too, you know, like a lot of people think like acne is just acne, but it's really not. Like acne makes you feel bad about yourself, you know, like you become insecure, um, you know, like it's painful. Um, it really like does take a toll like on like, you know, your self-confidence and how you feel about yourself. And it takes a toll on like your everyday life also, you know, like. If I just wanted to like go to the store really quickly or go do something really quickly, like I couldn't just do that. Like I had to put on like a full face of makeup just to do the simplest of things. If not, I'd be like, you know, like, no, I was just in such fear that I was gonna run into somebody that I knew or, you know, someone was gonna see me or people were gonna stare at my face. And like, I just felt like, it makes you feel really ugly. Um, you know, and it's not like acne makes you ugly. There's plenty of people that like have acne and do not care. Like they just own it. But you know, like I myself was like not at that point where I could just be like, you know, like it's just acne. Like I don't care. I don't mind. Like I'm not at that point where, you know, I can just do that. So, um, you know, while my skin was going crazy after I had my daughter and everything like you know it was really stressful because you know I just didn't know what to do anymore like I was just getting pimple after pimple after pimple after pimple and you know like nothing was working like I was going on YouTube and I was watching like skincare routine videos and you know like trying products that people were using you know thinking that it was gonna work on me and you know like it wouldn't and I would just be like why not you know like why not like I don't feel like my acne is that horrible to where it just can't be helped and apparently you know like it was it was just not going away um I would have pimples underneath my skin for months and they would just get like swollen and it would hurt and it was just so bad like it got to the point where like you know it just made me like super depressed like you know I was at that point where it was like nothing is working like nothing is helping like i'm just getting them and getting them and getting them and like i just could not possibly do anything to make my skin feel better and it was just you know it makes you feel really bad you're like you know taking off your makeup or washing your face at the end of the day or you know like just looking at your skin in the mirror and you know you're not like liking what you see and you really just feel super terrible about yourself and it just makes your confidence like feel you know horrible like just just feel bad in general then you know like 
that's when you know it's really affecting you, you know, like people think like, oh, pff, it's just acne. You know, when you feel really bad about yourself and you hate your skin, it's that serious, you know. Um, and it's just, you know, the fear, I guess, of people looking at your face or like, you know, looking at your weird or, you know, like saying mean things and, um, you know, giving you stares or you just feel like if you go out, like they're not going to be looking at you. Like they're just going to be looking at like, you know, what you have on your face. So it was just really bad. Like I would get like even the smallest pimple and that would be a scar. Like my sides of my cheeks would be completely full of scars. My forehead, like scars. Um, and you know, I'm so very like, I'm very pale. So my scars would just like completely stand out, like just like in your face, like super red. So like, you know, not, it not only looked ugly, but it looked painful because it was painful. Um, and you know, I tried so many things like, you know, drinking water, like eating better, like trying not to wear makeup, you know, not, like not touching my face, face washes, like, all of that stuff like just for years and years i was just buying things like at that point i was just so desperate to you know get rid of my acne that i was just putting so much crap on my face that it was just like ridiculous like it was just making everything worse like you know i had everything that you could think of you know people would be like oh like why don't you try this and like why don't you try that and hmm you should try this like believe me i have tried everything like face wash you can name it pimple cream you can name it like anything anything and it is just like no i just couldn't do it anymore um so this went on about for like maybe like five years so five years i struggled with it to where it just got to a point where i was like you know like i just can't do it anymore like this is just too much like I'm tired of feeling, you know, crappy about myself. I'm tired of hating my skin. Like, I'm tired of, you know, feeling like I can't leave the house without makeup. And I can't, like, just feel good, you know. Like, feel good in my skin and, like, love me as a whole or whatever. And so, so I ended up going to the dermatologist about, like, last year. Um, and, you know, we did a couple things. So, he looked at my face and everything, you know, and... He told me, you know, like, your acne is hormonal. So, pretty much, if I wouldn't have gone to him, I would be struggling with acne for pretty much, like, my whole life, I guess. Or until I'm, like, really old, which, like, like, why? No, I don't want to be, like, 50 with, like, you know? So, it's just like, oh, okay, like, I get it now. So, we pretty much went over that. He told me, you know, my acne was hormonal, so it was not going to go away unless I actually did something um, to make it go away, pretty much meaning, like, medication. So, um, I didn't want to do anything super strong just because, you know, like, you hear things and, you know, like, everyone has, like, opinions about, like, certain medicines and all that. So, I was like, no, like, I don't want to start, like, super hardcore, you know, just... Like, let's try something, like, minimal, you know? So, first thing that I tried was a uh, cream, which was um, tretinoin or something like that. I don't really know how to say it, but it's pretty much a cream that you put on your face and it, like, um, helps you with scarring and it helps you with um, your pimples. So, I did that for about, like, a month and a half and it did nothing for me like at all like whatsoever um it just like super dried my face like that was it it did nothing so I went back the next month or whatever and then he started me on uh a medicine called minocycline so that pretty much is a medicine that takes care of like your bacteria so it helps uh get rid of the bacteria that you have in your system and all of that so you know you don't get pimples so I took that for about two months and a half and I did see a difference like you know um right away like when I started taking it lying I took it for like three months I did see a difference like right when I started taking it um but it was like the side effects were not worth it like 
every night I would have like horrible stomach pain like I would just get like really bad cramping in my stomach like it was just so bad like it was to the point where it was like I'm literally suffering like every night to get rid of like some pimples like I'm like I don't like no I don't want that um and um I remember this is one time where I like my face was like almost completely like getting clear and um I wasn't able to get my prescription for like maybe like a week because of like work or whatever and like I was at that point where I was like oh my god yeah like my skin is looking good like I can actually you know um like I feel like if I have to go out without makeup like I can do it and I was at that point where I was starting to feel good about myself and that week I wasn't able to get my medicine so I didn't take it for that whole week well guess what everything came back like all of my pimples came back in that week like it was just like whoosh, like hi 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 like yay so that really sucked it definitely made me feel really bad because i was you know i felt like i was at a point where i was starting to feel like kind of good and it just like psh, like it completely like sent me just like twenty thousand steps back and so i was like you know like i don't want a medicine where as soon as I stop taking it, like, it's just gonna come right back. Like, no, because I don't plan on taking this for, like, ever. And, like I said, you know, the stomach pain was, like, horrible. So, I was like, no, this is not working out. So, after that, um, I went back and he was like, well, you know what? Like, this is not working for you. So, let's do birth control. And I really did not want to do birth control. That was, like, my, like, one of my last, like, options. Just because, like, you know, like, you hear like bad things you know like oh it makes you fat like oh it makes you skinny like oh i gained like 50 pounds in like two weeks or like oh i dropped like 40 pounds and like or whatever like you know you just hear all kinds of things and i was like you know what like no like i don't want that like no i'm scared but i really did not have a choice so um he started me on birth control i took it for like maybe like two months and it really did nothing for me like i was still getting like pimples yeah i was getting a little bit less but it was just like not the results that i expected like when i would get my period and all that like it was just like psh, like completely normal like average like 20 pimples or whatever so it was just like no it was not working so i did that for like about two more months and you know at this point i was like <clears throat> like well what is it gonna be like nothing is working like my acne cannot possibly be that horrible where nothing is like working you know i started getting like really depressed and like really just aggravated and like stressed out and frustrated and of course like my face was like showing it so i was just you know at that point where i was just like <laughs> like what do i do you know um so my last resort was accutane which i also didn't want to have to take because i was like you know like i don't feel like my acne is that horrible to where like i need to be classified like in that area you know where i need to take accutane because that's like such a strong drug you know so i was just like no like i don't feel like i like i'm that bad but like i was that bad i just didn't like want to you know like i guess <laughs> get the point but um you know i was really scared to try that also because of the fact that you know like it's such a strong medication um you know like you cannot get pregnant like at all whatsoever um you have to take birth control in order to take the accutane so it goes hand in hand because you just it's really dangerous if you get pregnant um you know like your babies can come out with like deformities and all of that so it's like a it's a really serious drug you know like it has like pretty serious side effects um and you know you just hear all these scary stories like you know like oh the side effects are like horrible and like this and this and this and that so i was just you know like terrified and i don't know anyone who has taken accutane so i was like you know like what am i going into you know um so that was something that i had to kind of like take a step back in and just kind of think like do i want this like do i need this and I decided yes like I do need it you know like I'm tired of feeling bad about myself and you know not liking the skin that I'm in in and just struggling with acne for like six years it's just you know at that point you're just like I can't do it anymore um so I went ahead and I got started on Accutane um I only weigh like 96 pounds so my dosage is very small 
um, which makes my period of time that I have to take it like way longer as compared to if I had a higher dosage. Um, so we started on, um, I believe it was 20 milligrams and that did a little bit for me. Like I kind of saw results in like the first like week or so, but not too much. Um, then we went up to 20, 30, we went up to 30 and I saw more results. So I did 30 for like two months and I felt like I was still getting pimples. So I was kind of like, and eh, you know, like it's working, but it's not working like as fast as I thought it was going to work. So, um, you know, and the side effects weren't like that horrible. Um, so I was like, okay, you know, like, let's see if we can go up. So we ended up going up to 40 milligrams which is what I'm at right now. And like, that's like the max that I can do because of the fact that I weigh like so little. So I can't possibly do more. Um, and like, yeah, I've been taking uh, 40 milligrams for like three months now. And you know, like, I just feel like it's made such a difference. Like it's actually, you know, like right now, I literally like don't really have any makeup on whatsoever. I only have like BB cream. So you can still see, like, I still have scarring. It still shows through. But, like, I mean, like, look at my forehead. Like, chin. Like, I, you can see I have a little bit of scarring here. Like, I have scarring here. My cheeks. Here. But, like, it's, like, nowhere near like what it was back then like i will show you guys pictures of like what my skin was looking like before i started taking it and like now that i'm like at five months and then i will go ahead and also make a video about when i finish my journey so you guys can see like you know um but yeah this is five months in so i just kind of wanted to like let you guys know a little bit about the background of like you know how i started taking accutane and why and you know like show you the results right now that i'm like at the half point and then i will show you guys the results of when i'm like completely done which hopefully like my skin will look so good because like <laughs> I deserve it like everyone deserves to like just feel so good about the skin and you know like go out without makeup and look like so good and you know like I woke up like this and you know like it so hopefully I'm at that point let's all pray for my skin guys but yeah so pretty much yes that's it um that's my story how my acne started and what it turned into and what like steps i had to take to get to where i'm at now so you know i feel like when i was going into my acutine journey like i didn't have no one to ask like i didn't know anyone like nothing so you know i kind of want to make a video for you guys to you know kind of explain to you like how it is and like you know like why I decided to like start doing it you know and just so you guys can see you know like if it works or if it doesn't work you know like if it works for me then you know you guys will be able to see that and if you know you're thinking about taking it and you know you see my videos you're gonna be like hmm like okay you know or you know we'll see if it doesn't work but so far you know like I'm five months in and I'm like loving it I mean, apart from, like, the side effects, which I will discuss in, like, my ending video. But, like, yeah, I just want you guys to kind of go on this journey with me and just see the results and, like, be happy for me. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned so you guys can see, like, my transformation. But, yeah, guys, bye.